Today I am going to tell you a story where you will learn that you are a winner if you have a human touch. People might criticize you. But, if you have human touch, you are always a winner in life. The story goes like this. Indian economy was forced to liberalize in 1991. The Indian steel industry had to face foreign competition. Tata Steel was also not spared. That was year 1993. J.J. Irani walked into his regular quarterly meeting with the shop stewards at the steel plant he managed. He knew this meeting would not be regular. He would be discussing very bad news. News that no one in the room had ever heard before. This was the sprawling, rusting, smoking, antiquated Tata steel plant in Jamshedpur, India. The news was that some employees were going to lose their jobs. It was unbelievable. No one ever lost his job at Tata Steel. It existed to give people jobs. Once you worked there, your job was guaranteed, and after 25 years you were guaranteed that your son or daughter could also work there. He has to announce what he had to and he did the same. Rest is history. You know what happened? Tata Steel responded with an uncommon solution. One that in fact seemed crazy irrational on its face. When an Indian industrialist heard about it, he sent a Rani a note and wrote. You either have too much money or not enough brains. Yet Irani's solution has proved to be one of the wisest decisions in the whole realm of employee relations and corporate culture. And it was startlingly generous. The solution was. If any worker personally quit, the options given were. Workers under age 40 would be guaranteed their full salary for the rest of their working lives. Older workers would be guaranteed an amount greater than their salary, from 20% to 50% greater depending on their age. If they died before reaching retirement age, their families would keep receiving the full payments until the worker would have reached that age of retirement. The program wasn't as economically crazy as it first appeared. While workers who took the offer would get their full salaries or more, that amount would stay constant until age 61 instead of increasing, as it would if they remained employed, nor would Tata Steel have to pay payroll tax or make retirement plan contributions. Tata Steel's labor costs began to decline immediately. By 2004, Tata Steel's workforce had shrunk from 78,000 to 47,000, with about a third of the reduction from natural attrition. Lower labor costs, combined with over $1 billion of new investment, turned Tata Steel into a far more efficient, globally competitive firm. Tata Steel's CEO made a decision that led to a novel and humane approach to layoffs that today's leaders should heed. It boosted employee morale while saving money. The way Tata's handled the early separation system, ESS, stunned corporate India. The first corporate to realize the human values were Tata's and they kept their vow. Wow! What a company! Some lessons learned from the story are. 1. Decisions that are made long term last long. 2. Even if you need to bear some cost, have that human touch, the loyalty remains forever. 3. Only those companies whose employees are happy are successful. 4. Employees are the building blocks of any organization. Their success is the organization's success. 5. Leaders take tough decisions and do not bother much on criticisms. I will come back with more stories that will change your life. Have a nice day ahead. Stay tuned.